straight onto an offside position, but the referee waved play on. Matty Smith done really well on this right, or sorry, left channel to keep the ball in play, and he's continued his run as well. Gets his cross onto the box, it's past McGonagall's, failed in patching, and patching with a first time shot. He had McCabe all ends up, but unfortunately for the Stockport man, he just couldn't quite find the back of the net, Neil. Yeah, brilliant by Matty Smith, he's done brilliant to keep it in with his head, and then he's just used his pace. And he's with Jamie's done well. I must have got a shout because he's left it. He thought he was going to come in. Most of them forced. So, McElhinney and to Kavna. Kavna seen that Porter had found a yard over on that right hand side again. Gets across on the box. Jamie McGonigal this time, just with the right footed volley. But unfortunately for him, it just bounces in front of McCabe, and it's easy in the end up. Same thing for Kevin. Touch cross. Doesn't even try and beat yeah. anybody. Just touches it. A great touch. delivery, put it on there, great area again, and another chance. It's a hard chance, the centre backs all over him. Jamie can score things like that, but it's just he just uh, maybe came off his shin, maybe a wee bit more than off his boot. It's always the way, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> commentator's course. <laughs> Patching Brilliant. drops right, right. he won't catch him. Darren Nugent can't quite keep up from right. brings Matty Smith on the play on this left hand side. Smith goes to the touch line, gets his get cross more bodies in the box. It's gonna be easy for Kavna to get it back in, puts the head down, goes past James Clark, gets his cross under the box, McGonagall with the header, oh it's a great save from McCabe in the end up, McGonagall gets a second bite at it, and eventually Matty Smith with a right foot and volley, puts the ball behind Colin McCabe to make it 1-0 in the 33rd minute to Derry City. Yeah, it all comes from well patch and dropped under a little pocket, receives it in the outside of his right foot, unbelievable turn and then it's, it's, it's very, very quick patching and people don't realise, so once he turns and drives, nobody will catch him. He's picked out Matty Smith, Massey's headed it, flicked it in the back, in the back post, and then Kevin has got a wee 1v1 done a bit. Think but dinked it back in. Jamie's had a header save, had another chance, and then Matty Smith again, eventually it was like three or header saved on the line. Jamie's had another strike here, blocked, and it just came to Matty Smith on the volley, and he's finished it from two or three yards out. Well played Kevin Porter to keep the ball in play. Yeah, running the ball back up nice and high, now be composed and play. Patrick McElhinney, he had a bit of room but James Clark quickly closed that down. Falls to Patching, Patching sells it away, shifts on his right foot, gets his shot away! Oh, and it's just wide of McCabe's upright but a flash of brilliance again from the Stockport man. Yeah, he's just shifted it on his right foot, 25 yards out. Shouldn't it? Before he even had it, I just said chance because you just know of his technique. He just didn't wrap his foot around it enough to just get it back inside that post. Thread it through on goal as Matty Smith releases it over the top. Finds Wall Patching. Patching should be able to keep this in play. Jamie McGonagall's looking for it far right. He's eventually going to get it. Jamie McGonagall thought about pulling the trigger first time. Gets shifts on his left foot. Gets his shot away oh, on his way to the upper. I think it took a touch on the, on the way through. But uh, he was certainly taking as much time as he could there, Neil. Yeah, I think he's done brilliant. Great, great ball with Patching again. It sort of stops, so you can see it, and this pitch it stops a wee bit, so he chops inside his left foot, and then goes back in again. And then the defender comes across and makes an unbelievable block, to be fair to him. He goes James Clark on the end up, he yeah. got the final touch. The substitution's going to be made as Kevin Porter's receiving a bit of attention. But I thought there he was going to pull the trigger. Instead, he just steps away from Massey. It's been a good spell in the last three or four minutes for Drahada United as Darren Markey comes forward, yeah. and I'm fully in the overlap. And Foley does get on the end of the ball, gets his cross on the box as well. Joe Thompson heads it up, but it's only as far as the penalty spot. Oh, there's a push oh in the back God. by Patrick McLeaney on Ryan Brennan. It's going to be a penalty to Dunda or to Drahada. That's a silly mistake from Patrick McLeaney, tonight's captain for Derry City. He just leaned under the back of Ryan Brennan. We should be able to see the replay here in just a second. But the, ref, the, the Derry players protesting their innocence there, but as you can see, ball's headed up. It's not a great clearance from Joe Thompson. And just... Patrick McLean, comes under the back of uh, Ryan Brennan. Lovely touch from Adam Foley. That's a poor header from the Glaswegian. The referee just making sure that everyone is on the edge of the Derry 18 yard box, but it'll certainly be retribution for Drogheda if he can put it past Brian Maher, and which he does. And there's about 20 Drogheda United supporters over on our far left hand side, but lovely bit of composure from Dean Williams to draw level in the 70th minute. But uh, the Brandywell Derry City won, Drogheda United won. This will be hit, I would say. This is 30 seconds to go. McElhinney with the corner, floats it in. Played the whole way to the back post, is falling to Jamie McGonagall, oh. and it's hit the side netting. I think the fans over on the far left hand side in the South End Park stand 
And with still 10 seconds to go, the referee brings proceedings to a close. So it's finished at the Brandywell. A goal apiece between Derry City and Drogheda United. Yeah, I think we were. Um, again, the, the, the whole sorry, uh, uh, sort of objective was to just be in the game. It was very similar to the game in Daily Mount last week or two weeks ago, whenever it was. Just be in the game. I was disappointed with the goal we conceded, but you've always got a chance. I mean, if you just... You don't want to be going in at half time 2 0 down or even coming out in the second half and and, uh, and the game is over almost like so we just stay in the game and defend properly and again as you referenced before we made five changes like so um and a lot of them were, were lads that were sort of enforcing suspensions and stuff but we've got to uh, be very very happy with, with what we did tonight.